Hello again Guitar Groovers, welcome to Citizen Max's channel and today I'm going to show you how to get away with not playing bar chords. Yes, a bit of a naughty cheaty video really, perhaps you think I shouldn't be telling you such terrible things, but I think this is something very important because people when they start off and they grasp how to play open chords and they're happily merrily playing at G's and C's and D's and E minors and whatever, A minor, then, and they can play loads and loads of songs with just those four chords of us. As I said before, you can play millions of songs with just four chords, G, C, D and E minor. And you put the capo on and you can play in different keys with those same shapes. Not to be recommended except for the absolute beginners, but having said that, you can learn up to like a dozen, two dozen chords, maybe more, but then you're going to come across songs where you need to play bar chords, and then you're going to hit a bit of a rut. Uh, you're going to be told you have to play this. Right, not very easy. you got to put your first finger down on all six strings, and to play F. And for B flat, it's not much easier. You've got to play, put your three fingers down there and play. Uh, it's, it's hard, as you can see, as an experienced player, I'm not playing it very well. I'm not trying very hard, it's true, but I don't like bar chords like that too much. And if I can get away with it, in the old days, I just thought, oh, I had to do that. I had to do what the book says. I had to do what the chord diagram tells me. But in my latter years, when, as I should be, I'm a much better player than I was, I still cheat a lot. And this is how you cheat. Now, obviously, you might have already seen this. You can get away with a small bar and play F like that. You can play a four-string version. That sounds so good, so, um, what should I say, sharp and very distinct rather than trying to do that yeah you create a great low sound there on the uh, bottom E string but for the moment just worry about these top two in fact that reminds me of Nirvana anyway um, and then add the second finger on the second fret of the G string third finger on the third fret there sorry second yeah third finger on the third fret of the D string Okay, so the first finger is small bar on these two strings, the E and the B, the top E and the B string, second finger, second fret of the G string, third finger, third fret of the D string. And that is a great shape to know. And you can move it up. There's another thing we will come on to. But now this other option, if you totally want to dispense with doing a bar for F and what you can do well obviously you can just do this you can play these three those three strings and you've got a triad and you've got in order you've got the F root note there on the G string on the D string sorry and then you've got the G string the third which is the note A and then on the B string you got the note C so you got a perfectly nice triad but you could do this sorry you could add on the third fret of the A string a C note which is a repeat of the C note an octave higher and you've got a four string chord and it's a bit easier to be more accurate and the thing is, you want to try, you must avoid playing this open E string. See, if you play this string open, it's going to sound like this. Beautiful chord, F major 7, but not the chord we want. We, at the moment, we might well want F major 7 on other songs, but this is the F that you want. You've either got to be accurate, make sure you only hit the middle four strings, but in addition, 
or alternatively, if you mute the top E string by leaning your first finger over on the high E string like that. So instead of normally you want it coming down straight so that it doesn't mute another string that you want to hear properly. But in this, in this case we deliberately mute it so that if we are playing all five strings, or I'm not being particularly careful to be accurate, I'm going but that is an F chord. The only slight drawback in this shape is that it's got C in the root, so it's kind of an, an inversion of F, but it's still an F and a four string F, as opposed to the one we said here where you just do three strings and it's only a three string triad, which is also good in most circumstances. And of course, if you can do a little bar there, then you've got four string on the uh, chord, F chord, with the root there. So there's a few options for you without either having to do the full bar and also uh, even without having to do any bar at all, you can have these two options. There is another option which is not so easy, I don't find it easy, is where you can hook your thumb. Some people might be more dexterous at this than me. If you can hook your thumb over here onto the low E string, then that's great. You've got the first string root note there covered with your thumb, so you don't have to do a bar. Personally, if I'm going to do that, I'd rather do the bar which is, as I say, difficult, but um, to me not as difficult as doing that. But that's a good trick to master if you can master that. Now do do it in certain songs. You know, use the, uh, the thumb there. It's, it's very useful technique. But to do it with a full, doing the rest of the chord is not easy. Maybe like this, if you're doing these three, kind of a jazzy thing if you do it with your fingers and you pluck the low E there as a root F and the top three triad here. I can just about do it and it hurts. Covering and then I accidentally hit the high E string there, but that's for jazz quite good because the major sevens are all, all the rage in jazz. Okay, I hope that was sensible and you know understandable and uh, maybe in the next video we'll talk about another bar chord which is the other main um, shape which is the B flat shape okay till then goodbye uh, please like this video if you liked it or even if you didn't like it you can still like it and uh, subscribe and hit the channel subscription bell etc thank you very much notification bell that's one all right, thank you for listening. All the best. Bye.